to say. I mean, back and forth. It just shows you social media. It yeah. gets it out there. I gotta say, they move pretty good. Yeah, they're yes, clearly creative moves. people. Yeah, they are. They're very <laughs> creative people. Well, what about our weather department? Anything creative going on there, or just more rain? Well, we are going to have some more rain. That's for sure coming in. Now, right now we're dry and it's cool, and we're seeing a little bit of patchy fog out there. Your temperatures this morning will start off in the mid to upper 40s, so it is going to be a little cool for us. I do anticipate those showers to start moving in within the next couple of hours. So I'm going to put it on the map there by noon. When the kids head home from school today, still looking pretty wet with those scattered showers. And we could get some heavy downpours coming in here, maybe an isolated storm, and these he heavy downpours could contain some small hail today. So just be aware of that. 57 degrees for the high as the evening progresses. We'll see those shower chances diminish right around 51 by 9 p.m. So it's going to be another cool night. Pretty similar to what we had this morning. In fact, we're cloudy, 45 degrees right now in the metro area. A little bit of fog towards out Scapoos. In fact, uh, your visibilities have dropped a mile and three quarters. Looking good in Portland, Troutdale, and Hillsboro. Some light fog around Aurora, but once we get down towards McMinnville, a quarter of a mile. So just make sure that you allow yourself some extra time this morning. So we're already starting to see those showers come in. Uh, notice out on the North Shore and on the coast, we're starting to see them as they hit the coast range. Some moderate showers already. No lightning with this as of now, but still you're going to have a thunderstorm threat out towards the coast and also some small hail with that. Dry in the metro area, so again, looking good right now, but this is all associated with an upper level low that's going to start to push towards the south. So we're going to get the rain from this today. And then this is going to make its way into the Rockies, bring some cold air. So they're going to see some snow, and this could be a snowmaker for the upper Midwest. And it's the beginning of October, so it's going to be an early snow for them. As we look at the rain and cloud forecast, for today, uh, models are a little off on this. So notice the showers are already on the coast this morning. Now our models are indicating them off the coast. So uh, it's, it's one to bring in about 2 p.m. I'm thinking it's going to be before that. I'm thinking probably most likely around 10 o'clock. Now we're going to still going to see that some chances of some heavy downpours today. That will continue through about 5 and 7 p.m. The snow will be in the Cascades, though. Of course, snow uh, levels about 4,000 feet, so up towards Timberline Lodge could get an easy three inches uh, today. Tonight, the snow or the uh, rain showers will diminish overnight. Tomorrow morning, I think we're going to see some fog and some clouds, and then we'll break into the sunshine as gradual clearing comes in. So it's going to be a decent end to your Thursday. Showers and a few storms likely along the coast and in the valley. So 56 in Kelso, 60 in Eugene. East of the mountains today, you will see your clouds increasing a little breezy and the chance of showers through the gorge. Shower chances will be there with a west winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Government camp, 42 degrees with a low near 32 with a snow level at 4,000 feet. So here in the metro area, 57 with a low near 45 tonight. All of it's there. Shower chance, a little bit of hail, and some thunder today. As we look at the next couple of days, well, they do improve if you like the sunshine and the dry weather. 62 for tomorrow with morning clouds. Friday and Saturday, we'll see some morning fog possibly, but those will be the warmest days of the week. And then the shower chance comes back on Sunday. And Alicia and I have already decided that we're heading to Chad's house while he mows the lawn. We're going to sit in lawn chairs and, uh, you know, kind of razz a little bit. That's just cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> no, no, Chad. That's just enjoyment. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's so, not a co for, for you. Yeah. You're bringing food then. I'll take care okay. of the baby. Okay. All right. We'll take care of the baby. Okay. Right. For, for a little bit. I'm going to stay in the chair. <laughs> It is 6.53 right now. <laughs> Rescue crews are preparing for another tough day. Who they are looking for in Skamania County next. We are back in just one minute. Between 17, 18, 19, 20.